in this video I will show you the operation of HTL NAND gate this is the circuit structure of HTL NAND gate here you will see we will supply this circuit with this 15 volt source and we have to increase the value of resistor so that the same amount of current is flowing through this path and this path as like a DTL NAND gate and here instead of diode D3 and D4 I have connected a 6.9 volt Jenner diode okay and here we are taking the output across this terminal to ground terminal here I will be applying the input at this terminal and another input at this terminal I will be applying inputs A and B at the end side of the diode DA and the diode DB now see if I want to turn on the transistor Q1 to turn on the transistor Q1 it is must that we get a base current IB if I want base current at the base terminal of the transistor Q1 there must be current flow from this terminal towards this base terminal that means the Jenner diode must be in reverse bias and it is operated in the breakdown region so that the applied voltage between this terminal to this terminal is greater than 6.9 volt in that case the Jenner diode will maintain a voltage difference of 6.9 volt between this terminal to this terminal let's say I denote this terminal with X therefore the voltage difference between this X terminal to the ground terminal is VX if I want to turn on the transistor Q1 we need the base current at the base terminal of the transistor Q1 for which the Jenner diode must be in reverse bias and operated in the breakdown region therefore our Vx will be the sum of the general voltage and when this will be in on state we will get a base to emitter junction voltage drop greater than 0.7 volt therefore our Vx will be the sum of general voltage and base, base emitter voltage of the transistor Q1 here the general voltage is 6.9 volt and base to emitter junction voltage is let's say approximately 0.6 volt therefore if I want to turn on the transistor Q1 we need a voltage of 7.5 volt between this terminal to this terminal to turn on the transistor Q1 if the voltage between this terminal to this terminal is less than 7.5 volt or is not approximately 7.5 volt the transistor Q1 will be in off state if the voltage difference between this terminal to this terminal is equal to or greater than 7.5 volt the transistor Q1 will be in on state in a HTL logic gate any voltage less than 1 volt will be treated as logic 0 so here for logic 0 I will apply 0 volt that means our input terminal will be connected to ground terminal or directly grounded and any voltage greater than 3 volt will be treated as logic 1 so here for logic 1 I will connect I will apply a voltage of 15 volt for example okay now consider the first case input 0 0 our output should be logic 1 see input will be this A will be at logic 0 and this B will be at logic 0 that means this B terminal will be connected to ground terminal and this A terminal will be also connected to ground terminal you will see the positive terminal of this 15 volt source will be connected to P side of the DA and P side of the DB and the negative terminal of this 15 volt source will be connected with the N side of the diode DA and DB that means both the diodes DA and DB will be in forward bias so if I consider them as an ideal diode I can replace them with a short circuit after replacing the diodes with short circuit you will see with respect to this terminal to this ground terminal we have total short circuit therefore the voltage difference between this terminal to ground terminal will be equal to 0 volt you will see this path will be in parallel with the base emitter of transistor Q2 Jenner diode and base emitter of transistor Q1 as this path is parallel to the series of base emitter of Q2 Jenner diode and the base emitter of transistor Q1 
therefore the voltage difference between this terminal to this ground terminal will be equal to zero which implies that the voltage difference between this terminal to this terminal which i have denoted with vx will be equal to zero because in parallel paths voltage should be same so vx will be zero therefore our transistor q1 will be in off state when the transistor q1 will be in off state its collector and emitter terminal will act like open switch therefore i can disconnect the collector and emitter terminal from our given circuit therefore the collector current ic in the circuit will be equal to zero therefore ic rc drop will be equal to zero that means there will be no voltage drop between this terminal to this terminal so our output voltage vo will be equal to plus 15 volt which indicates logic 1 because any voltage greater than 3 volt will be logic 1 in case of HTL gate now consider the second case when A will be at logic 0 and B will be at logic 1 A will be at logic 0 that means this terminal will be connected to ground terminal and B will be at logic 1 that means I will apply a plus 15 volt between this terminal to ground terminal as I have connected a plus 15 volt source between these two terminals you will see positive terminal will be connected with the N side of the diode DP and the negative terminal will be connected with the P side that means this 15 volt will drive the diode DP in reverse bias so I can replace it with an open circuit therefore I can remove the diode DP from the circuit you will see the positive terminal of this 15 volt will be connected with the P side of the diode DA and the negative terminal of this 15 volt will be connected with the N side of the diode DA that means this 15 volt will drive the diode DA in forward bias so if I consider the, it as an ideal diode I can replace it with a short circuit when I will be replacing the diode with a short circuit you will see the voltage difference between this terminal to this ground terminal will be equal to 0 volt therefore the voltage difference between this terminal to this terminal Vx should be equal to 0 volt because this path will be in parallel with the series of base emitter of Q2 the Jenner diode and the base emitter of Q1 as Vx will be equal to 0 volt our transistor Q will be in off state so when the transistor Q1 will be in off state its collector and emitter terminals will act like open switch so I can disconnect the collector and emitter terminal from the given circuit therefore the collector current IC will be equal to 0 as IC will be equal to 0 IC RC drop here IC 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 RC drop will be equal to zero that means from this point to this point there will be no voltage drop therefore our output voltage will be plus 15 volt because 15 volt will be applied within this terminal to this ground terminal as any voltage greater than 3 volt will be logic 1 so this will indicate our logic 1 for input combination of 0 1 now consider the third case when A will be at logic 1 and B will be at logic 0 in that case our output should be at logic 1 A will be at logic 1 that means I will apply a plus 15 volt source between this terminal to ground terminal and B will be at logic 0 that means this terminal will be connected to ground so you will see the positive terminal of the 15 volt source will be connected with the N side of the diode DA and the negative terminal will be connected with the P side that means the diode DA will be in reverse bias due to this 15 volt source that means I can remove this entire branch from the given circuit now see the positive terminal of this 15 volt source will be connected with the P side of the diode DP and the negative terminal of the source will be connected with the N side of the diode DP that means this 15 volt source will drive the diode DP in forward bias so I can replace it with a short circuit when I will replace the diode D with a short circuit you will see the voltage difference between this terminal to ground terminal will be equal to 0 volt therefore the voltage Vx will also be equal to 0 volt which indicates that the transistor Q1 will be in off state so so its collector and emitter terminals will act like open switch so I can disconnect the collector and emitter terminal from the given circuit therefore collector current IC will be equal to zero as collector current will be 
zero therefore icrc drop will be equal to zero that means the voltage difference between this terminal to this ground terminal this terminal to this terminal will be equal to zero volt so our output voltage will be equal to plus 15 volt which indicates logic one in the output now consider the last case when a will be at logic one and b will be at logic one that means i will connect a 15 volt source between this a terminal to ground terminal and p terminal to ground terminal plus minus 15 volt plus minus 15 volt here you will see the positive terminal of the 15 volt sources will be connected with the n side of the diodes and the negative terminal will be connected with the p side of the diodes that means both the diodes d a and d b will be in reverse bias due to these logical sources so i can replace them with open circuit that means i can remove uh, this portion of the circuit from the network now you will see this 15 volt will be applied between this terminal to this terminal so i can expect a voltage approximately vx equal to 7.5 volt between this terminal to this ground terminal so the transistor q1 will be in on state when the transistor q1 will be in on state its collector and emitter terminal will get shorted therefore i will get a voltage of zero volt which indicates logic zero that's it thank you